Hi, in this episode, we're going to be looking at working with Google Mail. We're going to be looking at sending an email. And then the other episode, we're going to be looking at actually forwarding an email. Please check your playlist. You also have access to using Gmail or Google Mail on your Android devices. It's very similar on your iOS devices as well. So first things first, you, what you want to do is you want to actually go to your Chrome, your browser, it is the bet, the better one to use. Again, it looks like that, that little circle with different colors. So what you want to do is click on that and go to google.com or google.co.uk, it doesn't really matter. Once you go there, you're going to see up here that you have your Gmail option top right. So what you're going to do in here is you're going to click on that and it will ask, ask you to actually log in. So click your Gmail. And once you've entered your credentials, such as your name and password, you'll be able to get in. Notice here at the top left, we have here plus, which says compose. That's what you want to click on in order to create, to create a message. So I'm going to click on that after I erase my annotations on screen. So I'm going to click Compose. Then let's kind of have a look at this, break this down. So the two is the person who's going to receive the email. The subject is what you're going to be talking about in your communication. And down here in this third box, you have the body. So what you have to do with your mouse is you have to actually left click on each one in order to enter info. So if I left click here, then I'm going to put the the email of the person, so whomever at whatever it says, yahoo.co.uk or Hotmail or Microsoft Mail, whatever you're going to put in there, and then the subject, your topic, and then you're going to say hello, whatever, and you're going to click send to send the email to that recipient. Let me just put my other work one. So clp.ws.gmail, I'm going to call it test for test for um, video, hello, and then I'm going to click send. The other option is if you look down here, you have a little arrow pointing down on the right. You can actually schedule that to be sent at another time, an hour and date. Let me just move the arrow so you can see it behind here. Let me move this across. You can actually pick a date and time, and you can send it another date in the future and another time. But I want to send it now just to show you. Click send. And then if I go over here on my left hand side, there's the send folder here. I can check that I've actually sent that. So I'm going to click on there after I erase my annotation. So this is just for your benefit. Ignore this little bar. This is just for teaching. So I'm going to click send. And then you see up here, it says to William and then test for hello video. I can actually click in here to have a look at what it looks like. So I'm going to do that next. Click on here and it, it tells you, look, to William, test video, hello. I can actually reply here or I can forward. OK, so forwarding is what you can do from an email that you receive. So you so we're going to have a recap of that in the next video. OK, so that's the next linking video that we're going to be looking at in the series. Thank you for listening.